Hi guys and welcome to another IBM Decision Server Insights technical tutorial. In this tutorial I want to talk about uh, a puzzle I recently came across and in this puzzle we had an entity that we'll call a customer. So here's a nice customer entity and this business entity has a customer ID as its key property. Great, so we can imagine that we got lots of customer entities all with their own unique customer IDs. Now let's imagine that we also want to model an order entity. So this might be something that, uh, that, uh, that we might be, uh, that a customer might order. And an order has an order ID, great. So that allows us to uniquely identify an order. But we also say that the order is related to a customer. Now what that means is that when the order entity is created, we need to relate that order entity to an existing customer entity. Okay, so this is the notion of relationships in DSI. So we might finally imagine that we have a business event, we'll call it an order submission, and this comes into the system with the properties of a customer ID and an order ID. So this might represent a new order arriving in our environment. Now, we are going to assume that customers already exist, so we might have any number of customers already existing, but the order entity represented by this new order event, we're going to assume that it doesn't exist. So because we want the order submission event to create an instance of an order entity, and we need that order entity to relate to an existing customer, how would we go about doing that? Well, I'm about to show you the solution, and it's a, it's a little more interesting than one might think. So in the business model definition, I can define statements. And one of the statement types I can define is an initialized from. So this basically says that when an event arrives, in this case an order submission event, I want to create, if one doesn't already exist, an order. And the order is initialized where the key of this new order comes from the order ID of the order submission. That's great. So that would create us a new order entity using the order ID of the incoming event as the key for the new order entity being created. That's great. That's not that complicated. But what does get interesting then is how do I go about setting the relationship to the customer? And this is where things get interesting. So we know that the order has a relationship to a customer. We see it here. How do we express that in a statements definition? And the answer is we execute the code set the customer of this order to a new customer. And that's the mystery that we had to solve here. We have to set it to be a new customer where the customer ID of this new customer is uh, taken from the order submission incoming event. Now that may lead us to believe that somehow we're creating a new customer entity, but in reality we're not. What this states is that there is an existing customer entity and we're setting the customer relationship of this order entity to point to the customer entity that already exists. Wow. So I'm hoping you'll spend a little bit of time looking over this code fragment here and combine that with the business model definition here and see if you can't decode it for yourself. Now to illustrate that this works, I've built this solution and I've deployed it to the DSI runtime. Using the DSI toolbox, we've created this script here, which creates an instance of a customer, customer number one, two, three, 
And after having run that, and I've run that already, we can go to the Entities tab and we can see that I do in fact have a customer, customer123, with its associated data. Now if we look at the uh, order entities, we'll find that we don't actually have any at the moment. There are no order entities. Now if I now submit an event, if I submit an order submission event with an order ID of 0123 and the customer ID of C123, if I submit that event, which we've just done, and I now go back to my entities and refresh, we now have our order entity, which has a relationship to a customer of customer123. Now, again, lots of technical stuff here, but the core point to realize here is that in order to create a relationship to an existing entity in the newly created entity, which is the source of the relationship, we do that by creating a new customer entity, although it doesn't really, it's just how we declare the relationship, and in that new customer entity, we supply its key field. So again, I, I, I urge you to review at your leisure the statement definition here and also the uh, BMD uh, entity and event definition and convince yourself that you can see what I'm getting at here, which is that we have existing customer entities. We do not yet have an order entity, but we want to create one as the result of an order submission business event. And the way that we create the new order entity is via an initialization statement, but the real key to this is to set the customer relationship of the order entity to be a new customer where this new customer's customer ID is the customer ID in the order submission. All right, I'm going to pause there, and hopefully that's going to be of some value to you, if not immediately just now, maybe sometime in the future. And uh, I hope you get something useful from this. Looking forward to making you more tutorials in the future. Thanks now, and bye-bye.